this is kind of a um, I don't have many young people watching me so it's kind of a shit show of a lesson I don't know if uh, I can come up with a better way of that I have not yet decided what way sounds best to do the song this is ain't no grave can hold me down hold my body down most people will know this as a Johnny Cash song, which he does way slower. Uh, you can you look up the song. There's like Motown versions of it. There's blues versions of it. There's the song has been long gone around for a long time. Original was Brother Eli, Brother Earl. I don't. I it's the 1920s. I think it is. It's been around for a long time and it is originally done as a very fast song. Now the version I kind of stick to is, this is, I should post a link of this in the description. Uh, it's, it's not a group. It's, it's like four individuals that get together, that got together and they did it two years in a row. I was hoping they'd do it again last year, but they didn't. Modern Trade, uh, Southern Gospel Revival just amazing amazing it was actually funny when I first first found it I found it through uh, uh, what song was it fly away no not fly away sweet by and by I, they, I found them through their version of sweet by and by and I'm watching it a little little history about me my dad I grew up in a musical family my dad was a amazing harmonic player just Freaking mind blowing. So I've got appreciation for harmonica, and I maybe like when I saw that video in the Sweet Barn, by the way, they did it, and the, the girl Jamie, she plays harmonica on it. I just kind of cringed, like, oh, that's not the best harmonica I've ever sounded, <laughs> I've ever heard. <coughs> but then I listen to other songs, and she's the actually the singer that does this song, and holy shit. I took it all back, you know. She is, uh, she is quite amazing. There's actually another one. I'm totally off topic too. I think she sings back up on. No, she doesn't. It's one of the guys' song called Judgment Day. That's an awesome song too. But I'll post their stuff because pretty mean. Oh, but the whole point of that. What I was saying. Uh, I follow their, probably th I, their version more than anything in this. It's faster than Johnny Cash version, but it's slower than the original. It's kind of somewhere in between. And I follow their structure as well, the way they, they have the song. Because it just makes sense to me. It's more of a uh, modern verse, chorus, verse, chorus way. Okay, right, so... Basically, we got three chords. We got your B minor, two, one, open. We got your E, one, 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 and the F sharp. It's gonna be an F sharp minor, which isn't gonna sound minor enough when we do this. So you're going two, two, two. Uh, and that's it, that's the whole song. So there's three parts to the song. There's the ain't no grave that hold my body down, or ain't no grave that hold my body down. That's the first chorus. But the first, first time you do it, you do it different than the rest of the song. Like the first chorus is the only time you're going to do it this way. And then after that, you're going to do it the second way. If that makes any sense. And then the verses, all are, the verses are all straight B minor. And that's that little melody line I was putting in when I got to that part. It's almost like a claw hammer uh, picking type of thing. But so we're going to break this into... Three parts. The first chorus, that is going to be different from anything else in the song. Verses, and then the normal chorus. So, the chorus, I'm going to treat as there ain't no grave to hold my body down, there ain't no grave to hold my body down. When I hear that trumpet sound, I'm going to rise up from the ground, there ain't no grave to hold my body down. I'm going to consider that the whole chorus, even though in some versions it's split up. But that, to me, that's the way I play, it's going to be the whole chorus. You play that whole the way through. And then the verses is everything that's the B minor stuff. Uh, we'll look all the way down the river. What do you think I see? I see the band of angels. They're coming after me. So, and then anything ain't no grave is going to be chorus. If that makes sense. Okay, so the first chorus. First chorus is kind of the way they do it modern trade. Is uh, just more uh, 
uh, acoustic with no drums or anything else behind it. It just starts. So this is the strum I like for that. So I'm using my thumb and I'm hitting on the bass and one strum and one down strum, up down. So it's up, down, up. So. so the first chorus, hold the B minor for the first part, no grave, hold my body down. Second time through, there ain't no grave, there ain't no grave, go to the E, that hold, F sharp, my body down. I don't know if you can hear on camera, I'm humming along. I've said this in numerous videos in the past. If you're not a singer, and I'm not, to keep time and keep everything, just hum the song to yourself. It, it's gonna help you so much. So that's the first part of the chorus. Second part is the chorus is exactly the same. So, but it's different words. It's when I hear the trumpet sound. So it's B minor again. Okay, so that, I'm not doing any melody line behind it, I'm just doing a straight strum. You can do any kind of strum, you can use a pick. Throw some hammer-ons on your B minor. <coughs> and then, from there, we go into an actual verse, which is in B, B minor thrill. Now, the reason I like the f finger picking is because I can go straight into the verse where I put the melody line in. So now we're doing the B minor. Usually B minor, we're going to use your middle finger on the low string and your pointer finger on the middle string. But for this melody line, I move it back. I use my middle on the middle string and I use my index on the low. And what that does is it frees up my pointer so I can hit the melody on the first fret on a high string and on the second fret with my pinky. And I've always got that chord shape. And since the verse stays B minor the whole way through, it works. You don't have to worry about changing it. So we'll end with the uh, end of the chorus. That's the melody line I'm putting in. So we're kind of doing that two finger claw hammer blues style. This is where you're pinching low and high coming down with a strum. Now that pinching low and high works for everything except that first note. You have to pinch low middle. Because you gotta get the hammer on. So first line, second line. It's hard to explain, but just watch my index and my pinky. Oops. See if I can do that with a pick and 
taking out the with a pick so you can take that claw hammer right out of it so B minor and just just watch the index on a pinky so that's the verse and then from here the chorus changes so the first chorus you stayed in the B minor for the beginning of it and the, for the first two lines and then the second two lines you did the B minor E F B minor. Now it's the, the B minor E F sharp B minor twice instead of that first line of B minor. So and then do the... And then just switch from the to the E I hit on my I hit on the second fret. Let's strum down all open and right into the E. And then I, to transition, I lift the high string, one note, back on, slide up to the F. Now, if you play the F like this, and you're finger can go here, you can do that again. Uh, it's so confusing to explain this. I'm trying to think of both hands. Ain't no, no, I'm sorry. Ain't no gray. And then the second part of the chorus, with the, when the trumpet sound, I'm gonna rise right out of the ground. Ain't no grave that hold my body down. That when you play exactly the same. So you hold B minor. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I meant from the beginning of this lesson. My, I'm kind of going in and out between what I call a two finger claw hammer and, and then a, just an alternate drum to. So I, it's one of those things, I'm probably gonna play with this for a couple of weeks until I settle on what I like. And I'll show you all the ways too. And I even showed you with a pick. Pick the one that works for you. They all work. And once, that's probably the hardest part because the song itself is easy. Three chords, repeats over and over, and then the verse just holds B minor the whole time. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, this is a shit show, I know. <laughs> it's not my best way I've ever described how to play something. But you know what? We're gonna leave it. Okay, uh, I got one more if I remember it. And I'm uh, hoping to post them all tomorrow. So tomorrow's Friday, you should see them all tomorrow. If I remember the last one. Anyways, practice patience, have fun. We'll see you next time.